Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we are back here inside of the Beginner 2 Pro Scripting Tutorial Series. Right now, guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about parameters. These are super important and I'm going to be explaining these as best as I possibly can. I think I've got a really good explanation for you all, which should help you guys understand this really, really simply. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go on and get on into it. But first, if you guys um, need Roblox codes for any Roblox game, well, I've got a solution for that. That's rblxcodes.com. On that website, you can find out game codes, user codes, and guides. There is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall, we cover codes for over 1,000 Roblox games. So if you guys need a code for a game, it will be there. Anyway, guys, I guess, let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So, guys, let's start things off. First of all, let's go ahead and add a script over here. So, guys, parameters are used when you guys are um, using functions over here, guys. We've explained functions a lot in these few recent episodes. So, we're actually just going to make a function over here. I'm just going to make a function by doing local function. I'm just going to name this, I don't even know, um, test over here, guys. And normally, guys, in a function, we'll have something like this. Um, and we do something inside of here, guys. So, let's just quickly write something out random over here, guys. Um, we will do... Um, local value one is equal to one and then we'll just do local value two is equal to two and then we can do um new value um we'll do something like local new value and that's going to be equal to like value one plus value two just over here guys so yeah this kind of what functions are well how, how i have been explaining them earlier on so we do something inside a block of code and we can do that code anywhere and i know that isn't going to work because i've actually forgot to call the function over here guys okay let's quickly call this function right now so this is like a base baseline function basic function um but okay apparently um, apparently value one plus value two is I don't even know what that is, that is guys. But anyway, never mind. It's because I've not even put new value inside the print. Apologies about this, guys. Honestly, after this, I don't expect any of you guys to trust me on how to um how to code on Roblox, guys. But as you can see, finally there. There we go, free. So pretty much, guys, that's a basic function for us all. Kind of like the ones I've been showing you all earlier on. However, guys, what are parameters? Well, parameters are values we pass into a function. And to this, guys, what we do here is actually add some values inside of these brackets over here right now, guys. So what you'll do in here, um, I'm just going to delete these out. These actually don't need to be... Right, one second. I'm actually going to put these back. Um, so pretty much, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So I've renamed these, guys. This right, These are going to be highlighted red because there is no value one or two. However, guys, what I can do here, we can pass through a value into the test function called value one. And we can also do this again by separating them with a comma and we can pass another value called value two over here right now guys so as you can see right now there's value one and value two in these brackets and that means guys when the test function gets called it will look for value one and value two over here it will make sense when i actually do this so guys as you can see we have value one and value two over here in these brackets however guys it will still work if i do value one comma value two even though these names aren't the same guys i'm pretty much the first um, thing in the bracket, which you guys put in when you guys are calling the function, will line up with the first one and this one, and the second one will line up with the second one. So let's say I put five different values over here, guys, five different commas. Just imagine there's like values in here. Um, technically, guys, like the fifth one would match up with the fifth one in here. And that's pretty much, guys, um, how these parameters can, um, can work. But they don't need to be the same um, name as this, um, as these two on the, the, the test brackets for you guys if you get what i mean so the, even though this is different name on um each uh, like set one of the bracket it will still work it will still pass the value one through this because essentially what it's doing over here guys it is when we when we run this when it gets to this line it's looking what is value one and then it goes up here and realize that, realizes that value one is actually one so what it does guys it Kind of imagine this deleting the words value one and just putting one in here and then that now gets represented into value one like the actual number one over here guys so kind of imagine this being a new variable which gets assigned the number one same with number two the value it looks for what is value two spell out in words and it looks like okay this is number two and then it goes in here guys and now 
2 is equal to value 2 in numbers. Um, and essentially, guys, imagine it doing value 2 is equal to 2. If you guys get what I mean over there, so pretty much parameters pass values through a function. And this will still work, as you can see, 3 over here. When would you actually use parameters over here, guys? Well, guys, it would not be any use for us to do that right now because, of course, we have value 1 and value 2 here. However, guys, later on, when we make these variables change, maybe when the player clicks their screen, they get 10 clicks and maybe we want to put in the amount of clicks that they have pass that in through a function you guys would use that so you, you kind of want to pass these through the functions when you'll have values that change values that will not stay the same um in the code guys so you kind of need some fresh values updated values to pass it into the function over here guys and that's when you use parameters you'll see these being used a bunch more in later episodes over here guys but yeah parameters are super important we'll definitely be using these these are, these are so important especially when actually dealing with uh, like events and other stuff over here guys i'll be talking all about that later on but yeah guys that's param parameters for you all i hope that i did explain that as well as i could and um, comment down below guys if you did um enjoy this video and if you guys ever need to maybe rewatch this to get your um to get your grips around it then feel free to do that also guys i recommend like actually following along with these and making like a similar function to the one that i've shown you guys on screen just so you can get used to using these guys and if you ever need one-to-one -one help from me you guys can receive that on my page one account but yeah guys that is actually going to be it for this video here that is part i think 11 of the new proposed script in the tutorial series and i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe show some support and peace out